Magic 92.5, San Diego's old school. It's Magic Mornings with Jagger. Christy at 715. Looks like sunshine after the fog this morning. Highs today, 70s of the beaches, 80s for the high inland. Right now, it's 62. I am really th- thrilled to welcome Martita Jara to the studio. Good morning, Martita. Buenos dias. Okay, so you could potentially be the next Food Network star. Potentially, yes. Oh, so you're pretty far into this thing, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Um, we just had our seventh challenge this last Sunday, so mm-hmm. now we're headed off to Miami. That really? is so Woo! excited. How, so how, I mean, and how much fun did you have? Obviously, this part is taped, and then the winner part is going to be live. Is that how it's going to work? Um, I believe so. You know, they don't tell us too much in advance. <laughs> they keep us Probably good in thing. surprise. Yeah. Like, even on set, right. um, they would keep things locked up so you know there was always that element of surprise so i'm sure, sure there'll be something exciting at the end so okay tell me about jada because she is one of my all-time favorites and i even stood in line to have her sign a book once a oh, long really? ago yes i love she's her she's like a rock star she is there there i mean there will be a line around the building like there's no tomorrow it's That's so crazy, crazy. it's and you get to talk to her is she oh, nice okay well, she's nice she's nice and oh she's, she's super okay. cool and super she's cool. one of the people on jada de Laurentiis we're talking Talking about from the Food mm-hmm. Network, and the show is Food Network Star. Food Network Star. And how many people did started out on the show as contestants? Well, they narrowed it down to fifteen finalists, mm-hmm. uh, five per team, and I got a spot on Team Jada. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. I love her. I know, and you, I mean, you look—you're beautiful, thank and you're you. like a perfect Jada protege. Oh, thank you, <laughs> I thank think. you. Well, on some of the blogs. Um, People have been saying I'm kind of I'm the Mexican clone of Jada, and sometimes they say it in a nice way, and sometimes they say it in a not, not very nice oh, way. That's not nice. <laughs> well, you, and, and you learned a lot of cooking from your mom, right? I mean, oh, you, your roots go from your mom. What did your mom make that uh, they used to really love and still love? I love when I come home uh-huh. and there's a pot of um, frijoles de la olla, like beans, mm. and you know she makes mm. them in the old pots, oh. and I just love the smell, the aromas in the house. Yeah. Anything she makes. My mom can make me anything. I think there's something in her hands, you know? When someone <laughs> I, that right. loves you is yeah. making it for you, that comes through their hands. Yeah. And Agreed. it just, everything tastes so much better I, when my mommy makes great. it. That's great. I agree. And you know what? People don't make things from scratch anymore, do they? Everything Not boxed. as much. People do. Some people do. It depends what kind of time you have on your yeah, hands. Yeah, it's true, right? You yeah. know, it really depends... Uh, the time. Yeah. And we want to point out that currently you live in downtown San Diego, Thank but you, you grew up in Riverside and San Bernardino areas, you. so you're kind of like our local girl on yes, the show. Yes, i.e. San Diego girl, and my family's from Tijuana, so um, I feel like I've been in San Diego most of my life because yeah. um, everyone lives in Tijuana or San Diego, so we were always coming down here. So, yes, I'm a San Diego girl. And then if you win this, they give you your, you get your own show. Is that what Absolutely. <laughs> but even, I know. Wow. <laughs> but even if you don't win, you know, there's a lot of people from past seasons that um, even if they didn't win, you know, they got great recognition and the network or another network saw, saw some potential in yeah. them, and they've gone on to do great things. So... You know, it opens a lot of doors. So what background did you bring to the show as far as, you know, your recipe repertoire? Well, my family has a small chain of Mexican food restaurants in the IE, and I grew up in the restaurant business. Like my daddy says, yeah. I've been selling tacos since I was 12 years old. <laughs> so you, know? you know what's up. <laughs> I know what's up. I know my way around the kitchen, and that's what I do. Yeah, I know how to entertain. I know how to take care of people. I know how to feed people and keep them coming back. Well, and if you had your own restaurant, would you be more interested in being the, the, the chef of the restaurant? Or would you be more interested in maybe running the business side of it? Or do you have to do both? I think you have to wear a little bit of all hats um, the restaurant business is the most difficult business to make a profit in. A lot of times people say, you know, oh, I have all these great recipes. I love to cook. I'm going to open a yeah. restaurant. And I'm like, ah, you know, yeah. that's that's a very small part of it. Yeah. You, it's it's an animal that if you don't know what you're getting into, it will eat you up. Yeah, and absolutely. Thank God I have a pretty good background there. So what special recipes are you bringing to the show? Um, I do Cal- I do Mexican food with a California twist. Oh, I lighten it up. <laughs> my I, favorite. I freshen it up, yeah. you know. Um, like Jada said to me, she said, you know, you kind of converted me to Mexican food. And the things I would be making, she would say, oh, Martin, this is so great. I'm going to go home and make this for Todd. Oh, you how know? cool. Ah, yeah, and wow. Bobby was like always at my station eating my food. And I'm uh, like, that would Bobby, be Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay. Uh-huh. Like, Bobby, get back to your team over there. <laughs> 
You know, I lighten it up. I just make it a little fresher, a little cleaner. I want you to taste everything in there. I don't want it to be all covered in sauce and cheese like yeah. Yeah. a lot of places exactly. do. Exactly. Well, Martina, ah! we, we want people, we want you to win. So what how, can we do? Yeah, how can people vote for you and keep you in there? How does this work? Um, you can go on to foodnetwork.com. Okay. They're doing a fan vote right now. Okay. And just vote for me and pray for me. All right. So <laughs> foodnetwork.com. Martita Jara. It's J-A-R-A. Martita. And that's who we want you to vote for because she's from our town. And uh, we want you to get in there and get your own show because that'd be kind of cool. You. Yes. You're like the Thank Jessica you. Sanchez of the food uh, shows. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> you are, really. Oh, you, are gosh, you... It's so exciting. It's so amazing. Um, people are coming up to me on the street already. And I'm like, oh. Hi. You're a celebrity now. Yeah, that's so cute that they come up to me and they recognize me. And even with my hair up, sometimes they recognize Scary, me. Scary, isn't it? No, it's sweet. It's, yeah, it's right. very It's very kind. Well, so if you get your own show, can I come in and be an honorary prep cook for a day? Because yes. I used to... Be a prep, I need prep cook, prep cook. <laughs> at a at a at a vegetarian restaurant back in when I was in college, and I loved it. So I would honorarily chop your vegetables. I would love that. I need uh, someone to chop my vegetables. Do you need someone to eat the food? Because <laughs> I do. I need okay. tasters as well. I can eat it. Taster, yeah. taster. I'd be, yes. I'd be happy to eat it. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So go to foodnetwork.com, and uh, you're going to want to vote for Martita. When? Okay. The next show is when Sunday. It's Sunday. Our first episode in Miami. Miami. When do you? Oh, okay. Now, have you, have you already been to Miami? Yes, I okay, have. Okay, you have. You, how do you like Miami? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, we were there when the weather was bearable. Yeah. You know, we were there in in our winter. Right. So the weather is just perfect. perfect. It was yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous. Right. And so when you get your show, do you get to name your show? Well, they name your show. I, well, you know, we you have, have a, a lot of input. I yeah. have an idea for okay. a name. Come on, what would you name it? If you, let's, just, let's just think you're going to win. If you if win it, what would we call the show? Martita's Mesa. Mm. Oh, Mesa yeah. means table. Yeah. And it's also my mother's maiden name, so I think it's perfect. That special. is perfect. Very yes. special. So everyone gathered around my table, my Mesa. That's awesome. Well, Martita, you are a joy, you. and thank we you. are so thrilled for you, and we thank hope to you. see the good results at the end of the show. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm grateful. And again, go to foodnetwork.com, and it's simple to find, right? Just go for the next Food Network star, and yes. then uh, Martita. Do they oh, just yeah. click a vote yes, or just... Uh, yeah, you can okay. vote ten times so, a day, ten every times day, a day, from all of your mobile devices, so from your laptop, from your phone, from your iPad, from everything. Okay. All right, we got your back. All right, we're going to do it right you. now. Foodnetwork.com, and it's Martita, who you want to vote for, our own That's Sandy yes. again. All right, you have a great day. Thanks for thank coming you. in. Thank you. Magic 92.5, San Diego's old school. It's Magic Mornings with Jagger, Christie, and New Edition. 727, you'll see sunshine after the fog. Into the 70s of the beaches, 80s for the high end, right now 62. By the way, coming up at 745, uh, War the Roses. Man, a lot of people got hot under the collar about Mm-mm-mm. this one. Martita, uh, you even heard that. Yeah, yeah I was like, oh. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. Ryan just got back from deployment, and while he was away, he learned that his wife was pregnant. So he's very excited about that. But now that he's back, things aren't adding up. Um, the due date seems kind of off to him, so wait till you hear what happens when we make that phone call coming up at 745, your Royal Roses. Martina is here. Uh, could be the next uh, Food Network star. We were talking about you earlier. A lot of people have been calling going, we like your personality. Oh, thank mm-hmm. you. like That's the way so you sound sweet. on the radio. And if, and if you want to vote, I actually got on foodnetwork.com, and you go to foodnetwork.com. Up in the top left, it says Food Network star. Click on that, and then go to fan vote, and then has all the people. She's on Team Giada. Is it Jada or Jada? How do you say it? Jada. Okay. She's on Team Jada. Actually, you're the first one at the top there, and you just click on vote. I'm going to vote right now. Click. Thank you. And so let's dish. I've been counted. What about Uh some of these other folks? Oh, wait, wait, you're ahead. I'm ahead. You're ahead. I know. Isn't you're that win- sweet? You're winning. That's All right. so sweet. Well, so in how they decide the next Food Network star, it, it's based on fan votes, but then do, it what, will be judge based input? On fa- oh, yes. Um, well, I believe this season is the first time that it's going to be done live. I think that's what they said. And the fans are going to vote for the winner. Wow, that's So good. it's going to be really cool. All right, so 4th of July is coming up, and I, I was asking you, you know, you cook, you're great at it. What are you going to do for 4th of July? What are you, what's going to be going on the grill? Um, I think I'm, do- you know, I'm, I've... I've been playing with a couple of ideas, but I think we're doing burgers and like TJ dogs. And my burgers are very special because they, of course, they have a little bit of chorizo in there. Mm-hmm. And I top them with a little bit of cucumber jalapeno, like this feta little mixture that mm. I put on top. Yeah. And I make my special jalapeno fries with a little uh, creamy avocado dip. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're addicting. Jalapeno fries? <gasps> they will change your life. Oh my God. <laughs> 
They're amazing. Well, I'm looking at the fan vote thing here, and yes, you are leading with 30%, but who's this Justin Warner guy? He's uh, got Justin 29%. It's un amor. He is the sweetest. Just the, Justin is a doll. He's a food genius, and he's just one of the kindest, nicest people. Craziest people, because he's an artist, you sure. know, and all artists have a little crazy mm-hmm. in them. But I would call him on set, mi hermano mexicano. Yeah. He looks like a total white boy, but that guy is fluent <laughs> in Spanish. We could chat for hours. Well, I don't like him Spanish. that well, though. Well, we okay, still need I, to kick his butt. Yeah, I don't like him that much. <laughs> uh, so you can vote. Just go to foodnetwork.com, and you click on Food Network, start at the top. And then in the far right, it says fan vote. You can I can vote seven more times today. Yeah, I'm yes. on number four. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. So <laughs> you can vote ten times a day. Mm-hmm. Uh, Martita Jara, make sure you vote. She's ahead right now, just barely. This Justin White Boy guy. <laughs> So, if, you, yeah, if you like jalapeno <laughs> fries, you'll be voting for Martita. Yes. Foodnetwork.com, and you can watch it Sunday night on the Food Network. And it's good to see you. Thank you. You as well. Thank you so luck. much. Thank best you. I appreciate luck. it. Magic 92.5. Trash, trash, And we will look for you on Fox 5 on 4th Thank of July. You. Yes, I'll be Oh, you're on 4th of July? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, you're everywhere. How cool. Martita. Yeah. Vote for Martita. Abuse me. Keep me busy. All right. <laughs> All right, Kelly, what's going on with traffic at 730?